The U of M wants to break free from its decades-long tie to M Health Fairview. Today, the medical school staff announced their vision to independently own all their own medical buildings on campus again, along with expansion plans. WCCO's Marielle Mose breaks down this U-turn for healthcare on campus. We need to be bold, we need to be intentional, and we need to be ambitious on behalf of the state of Minnesota. That's Jacob Tolar, the dean of the University of Minnesota Medical School. He, along with Joan Gable, the university president, revealed their plan called Impact Healthcare Innovation Vision. It involves reacquiring all the medical buildings on campus, including Masonic Children's Hospital, from M Health Fairview. They also revealed their design of a brand new hospital they want to build on the campus's East Bank. Tolar says hospitals offer better care when they're directly connected to medical schools and research. Research centers to provide the best therapies today, the highest qualities, and the new ones for tomorrow. And you have to do it at the same time. To do this, President Gable says they need the state's help. We are calling on Attorney General Ellison and Governor Walls and the Minnesota Legislature to support shifting these facilities to the university. Well, the U of M says they want to remain in their agreement with M Health Fairview. A spokesperson with M Health Fairview says they were blindsided by this announcement. M Health Fairview did recently announce their upcoming merger with Sanford Health. Both hospital systems released a statement after the announcement saying, in part, we remain interested in a clinical partnership between the university and the combined Fairview Sanford system. Since August, we have engaged in good faith with the University of Minnesota and brought forward many options for partnership. Despite repeated requests since August of last year, we have had no opportunity to meet with President Gable or Regent Powell. Obviously, there's some financial issues that Fairview's having from the operations. We've got to figure out how and why, and we want to be a part of that discussion, too. At the U of M, Mary Elmo's WCCO 4 News. The U of M says it will also rely on state and community investments to upgrade the current university medical buildings and the new hospital they plan on building.